And the other day, I was looking on the gas safe portal for engineers who can get all the documents and I came across a technical bulletin and it's this technical bulletin 162 and this technical bulletin grabbed my attention because it is entitled reduction in gas rate heat input test duration for metric gas meters so I thought hang on reducing the test time I need to have a read of this so it continues. This technical bulletin is intended to give guidance on reducing the recognized test duration of gas rating on appliances on a metric gas meter from two minutes to one minute. I was thinking, so why? Why are we going from two minutes to one minute? Now, doing the gas rate over two minutes came out in 1995, if I remember. And the reason why they said it was for two minutes was because the longer the duration you do, the more accurate the reading becomes. And most of the manufacturers of gas appliances, when they do their heat inputs, are all done on a two minute test duration. So, I have a lot of trainees over the years say, why can't we do it in a minute? Well, they, we've been told in the past that it wasn't accurate enough. Now, this technical bulletin says it is now possible to do your gas rate on a metric meter for one minute rather than two minutes. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to gas rate this cooker here because the gas rate for a cooker, the burners, are a continuous thing, aren't they? They don't modulate. So this will give me an accurate reading whether I do it for one minute or whether I do it for two minutes, hopefully. And hopefully I come out with the same reading. So I'm going to be using the gas meter just here, which is literally a few feet away from this cooker. So I'm going to pick the biggest ring, which is three kilowatts according to the manufacturers. So I'm going to do it for two minutes and see what the reading comes out with. And then I'm going to do it for one minute and see if it actually comes out exactly the same. So let's get on with it and get this gas on and get this biggest ring gas rated and see if reducing our test time to one minute instead of two actually gives us the same reading like it says in technical bulletin 162 so let's take this first reading so the first figure is 4841 so the second figure is 481 one. Now our first reading was 4.841 and our second reading was 4.851. So let's put that in the calculator so we don't make any mistakes. We need to put the biggest number in first which is 4.851 take away 4.841. We know that equals 0.01 meters cubed. So, because it's over a two minute test, we need to times that by 30 to give us meters cubed an hour. So, times 30 equals 0.3 meters cubed an hour. Then we need to times it by the carolific value of gas, which is 38.76, but we use 38.7, so times 38.7 equals 11.61 megajoules per meters cubed. Now there are 3.6 megajoules per meters cubed, so we need to divide that figure by 3.6. Divide by 3.6 equals 3.225 kilowatts gross. Then we need to divide it by 1.11 because that turns gross to net for natural gas. 1, 1 equals 2.90. 
So this is coming out at 2.90 kilowatts net and the manufacturer says it's 3 kilowatts. So that's the test over 2 minutes. So let's get back to the meter and do this test over a minute and see what that comes out at. 